Hi there, and welcome to Wednesday with Wayne. You know, most people are scared of something. I know I am. I, I for one, I've got a morbid fear of bees. You see, I've got history with bees. When I was 10, when I was about 32, I got stung by a bee, and I had an anaphylactic reaction to it. I just slowly start swelling up till I look like a toad. And left to myself, I just can't get better, I just keep on swelling up. So I have to go to, I, but I know what to do. If I get stung by a bee, I go to a doctor, the doctor gives me an antihistamine needle, I'll sleep for about eight hours and I'll wake up and I'm good to go. I said to say this, I'm never gonna be, take up beekeeping for a hobby. It, it just makes common sense. If you don't wanna get stung, stay away from the bees. If you don't wanna fall off a cliff, stay away from the edge. This is, what, this, this is what the Bible has to say. A wise person is cautious and turns away from evil, but a fool is arrogant and careless. If you wanna live a life that honors God, your goal is not to see how close you can get to the edge of temptation. The goal is how far can I keep away from the temptation? Let me share with you a little observation that I've made. Now, I've seen this played out so many times. The people that, that fall prey to temptation are the ones that go, you know what, I can handle this. But the people that never fall prey to temptation are the ones that go, oh, I don't think I can handle this. I'm going to keep right away from that. One of the most famous characters in the Bible would have to be Joseph. He's so famous, there's been a musical that's been running around the world for decades. Joseph and his Technicolor coat. Well, you want to know something? That jacket that was Technicolor, that's not what made him famous. The jacket that made him famous is the one he left with Mrs. Potiphar. She's trying to corrupt him. And there she is pushing and pushing and pushing. And he fled and he left that coat behind. He ran from temptation. And that's why he's a famous character today. That's why he's a man of character and left us with a heritage that we're still speaking about today, 4,000 years later. The psalmist said this, I pondered the direction of my life and I turn to follow your laws. When you're tempted to get up and when, when you're tempted, get up and change the channel on the TV. When you're tempted, turn off the YouTube and put a safeguard and go, not interested in this content. Uh, walk away. When you're tempted, don't stay there and see if you can handle it. Walk away, ring a friend, just do something else. Call a friend. Just do something to break the spell. Here's some practical advice. Never, ever, ever try to argue with the devil. He's older than you and he's wiser than you. And it doesn't matter what argument you come up with. He's got one to counter it. He's been working on his arguments for thousands and thousands of years. So you're not going to outwit the guy. Don't rationalize. Don't justify. Don't argue about it. When temptation comes on your phone, don't take the call. Hang up. Just hang up and do something else. Oh, by the way, let me tell you something else about temptation. It will never deliver what it promises, and we all face them. I don't care who you are, you're going to face temptation in life. I know this, if you fall prey to that temptation, it will never deliver what it's promised. Well, that's my thought for this week with Wednesday of Wayne. A couple of things. Uh, Hope went into the delivery ward. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl or what any of it is, but I'm sure by this Sunday we'll have some great news to tell you. Uh, we've got a new arrivals lunch this Sunday. If you're new to our church, never been to one, come along. Uh, we're not asking anyone to sign up. We're just asking, let's get to know each other a bit better. And here's some of the values of our church. And there's a working bee this Saturday at church at 3 p.m. Hey, God bless. Looking forward to catching up with you this weekend.